Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to take our simple character movement and apply hitbox detection. Let's begin. So here's the character with movement from the previous video. It's a simple character and using the keyboard I can move him around. He moves in all directions and plays an animation depending on the move direction. He can either be walking or idle and he plays the idle animation towards the last move direction. So let's check the code. So if you haven't seen the previous video, the code in here is very simple. Now on our update, we call our handle movement function. And in that function, we simply test for keyboard input. Based on the keys, we set a bunch of floats to either move in the Y or in the X axis. Then we test if we are idle, which is if both of them are zero. If so, we play an idle animation. If we are not idle, then we calculate the move direction using the move X and move Y that we set in here. We normalize that vector and we play a walking animation using that movement direction as our animation direction. So it's very simple and works perfectly fine, but right now it doesn't check for any type of hitboxes. So with just this code, we could move through walls. So let's go into the editor and add a simple wall. So in here, make a new empty game object. I'm going to call this our wall and give it a sprite renderer and also a box collider 2D. So here's our wall, let's give it just a white rectangle just to be able to tint a pixel, put it on a gray and increase the size. And just like that, we have a simple basic wall. It's essentially just a box collider. So let's test and verify that the character does indeed completely go through the wall and ignore any collision. So in here I move up and yep, there you go. It's as if nothing exists. Okay, so we want to make him actually hit the wall. So let's go back into our code. Now in here, when we are actually moving, after we calculate the movement direction, before we actually move him, let's define a vector three for the target move position. This is the position where we're going to move to. So it's essentially our transform that position and then add what we're going to use in here. So this is where we want to get to. So now that we have our current position and our target position, we can do a simple raycast and see if there are any hitboxes between any of those two points. For that, I'm going to use physics2d.raycast. I'm using the 2D versions, but this code works just the same in 3D. So I'm going to do a raycast starting on my transform dot position. The direction I want to move towards is my move there. And for the distance, we are moving speed multiplied by time dot delta time. That's how much we are moving in this frame. So this function returns a raycast hit, raycast hit like that. So this raycast hit contains all the information that was returned from this raycast. So in here, we can check if it has a collider. So we check if the raycast hit dot collider, if it is null, then this essentially means that we can move since there was no hit. If it is not null, then we cannot move hit something. So if we can move, we simply do transform dot position and we set the position to be our target move position. And we can remove this down here. And if we cannot move, then we do nothing. Okay. So when we move, we actually play the animation and we set the last move direction. And when we cannot move, then we play the idle animation. So let's test and see what happens when we touch the wall. Okay, there's the character. And if I move up, yep, there you go. He no longer goes through the wall. He gets to it and he just stops moving. So with the code set up like this, we have correct collisions. We cannot go through that wall, which is exactly what we want. However, we have one annoying issue, which is that we cannot slide along the wall. So with the wall above me, if I'm pressing W and D at the same time, which means moving up and to the right, you can see that there's no movement at all since we're hitting the wall, so it's completely stopping the movement. The correct thing to happen in this situation would be to ignore vertical movement, but still add the horizontal movement. Otherwise, it feels like the game is very sluggish since we can get stuck on a wall and it's very weird to move. Okay. So let's go into the code. And in here, we are essentially looking for hits using our combined move direction. If that one fails, that means we hit something. So in here, we want to test on just one direction. So let's define a vector three for the test move there, which will be a new vector three. First, let's test just horizontal movement. So we're going to use the move there dot X and on the Y, let's set it to zero and then normalize this vector. So let's do the same raycast, the same compilation for the target move position using this test move there instead of the previous move there. Okay. 
and then we do our previous raycast starting from our position moving towards test move there by speed dot delta time okay so this is testing a raycast moving only in the x axis so in here if the raycast dot collider if it is null then there's nothing on the horizontal movement so we can move horizontally and if not then we cannot move horizontally so if we can move let's move in the same that we did previously instead of using the move there we're using this test move there and we put them on target move position exactly now if we cannot move horizontally then we want to test the vertical movement so essentially we're going to do the exact same thing except the test move there instead of being using the x and the zero on the y we're going to use the y and set a zero on the x so this is essentially only vertical movement again we calculate using the new test move direction we do the same raycast, same thing, and we check for the collider. If there is no collider, then we can move vertically. And if there isn't, then we cannot move vertically. And if we get to here, then that means we can't move at all. We can't move diagonally, vertically, or horizontally. So in here, we simply go back to idle. And if we can move, then we move in that direction. And everything is exactly the same. So in here, cannot move diagonally. Test just moving in horizontal direction. And here, if we cannot move horizontally, then we test just moving in the vertical direction. So let's see if that is all correct. Okay, so here I am, and if I press just W, okay, he goes up, he hit the wall, and he stopped. Now he's currently playing the animation. That's a separate issue that we're going to solve. But now if I press D, Yep, there you go, he slides along the wall, and when he gets to the end, he moves away. So this way, the code no longer seems very stuck. The character never actually gets stuck, and if we go in here, and I'm still pressing W and pressing all the other keys, and he's sliding alongside the wall, when he gets to the edge, yep, he continues vertically, and works the same on all the other directions. Okay, so let's just solve this issue, which is when we're moving up, now he's playing the walking animation, when he should be playing the idle animation. Again, the issue is it only happens when I'm pressing just up. So let's see why that is. So in here, if we are not moving in the first direction, which this, he does find the collider, so he doesn't run this and he goes in here. Now, if I'm just pressing up, then the move there dot X will actually be zero. So in here, he's testing for a movement direction of zero, zero. So obviously there's no raycast from start to finish when the start and finish are exactly the same thing. So we only want to do this raycast if the test move direction is different from zero. So in here we can simply do we can move horizontally if test move there dot x if it is different from zero f, then we are going to move horizontally. If not, we cannot move it. And again, the same thing in here. We can move vertically if the test move there dot y if it is different from zero f and there's no collider. So again, if we do the same thing, if we just press W, then the move there dot X will be zero. So this vector three will be zero, zero, which means in here it will not pass this if since test move there dot X will be zero. So this one is false. So it goes into this one. And again, if both of them are zero stops and so on. So let's see that. And here I am. And if I move up, yep, there you go. He stops and there you go. He's playing the idle animation. I'm still pressing W, but again, nothing is happening. So I can slide and I go to the corner and nice and the character no longer seems stuck. If I'm pressing a key, the character is correctly responding to my input. So there you have it. We added hitbox detection to our movement. Our character now stops when encountering walls and automatically tries to find the direction that it can move towards. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.